Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hello and welcome. My name is Sharon. In today's video, I'm going to share with you one of my cleaning routines for getting things done around my home, plus a weekly grocery haul. I'm just going to re-up on some regularly used items for the refrigerator and pantry. And hopefully it will spark a little motivation for you to get things done around your home. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Make sure you turn on your notification bells and don't forget to hit that like button. First, I'm going to start with steaming out the wrinkles in the drapes in my family room. I ordered these drapes from Wayfair and they came via mail. They were very heavily wrinkled as you can see. I'd also purchased a steamer from Amazon. So I decided that I'd pull that steamer out and start steaming those drapes. I had no idea that it would require so much arm strength. Um, I have quite a few drapes in that room. So I had about two, four, six, eight, ten panels to steam. Uh, but I got it done and I love the way it looks. It was a lot of work, but it was worth it. I didn't have a lot of laundry to do, but I did have two loads. In here you see me pulling one load out the dryer and adding one into the washing machine. As a part of my cleaning routine today, I am going to descale my Keurig coffee maker. You know, when that light comes on and says it's time to clean, I decided that I'm going to take it apart and do a deep cleaning on this. So I took all the parts, all the components from the inside of the Keurig, I washed them all out, soaked them in vinegar water, and then I ran vinegar water back through the Keurig. I think I did that about four times, and then I flushed it twice with water. So here are the pieces on the inside of the Keurig. I'm gonna actually put those in some hot soapy water and scrub them down. Give them a good scrubbing. Look at that water. Now I'm just gonna rinse them with some clean water. And here I'm just gonna lay them on a towel to dry. And now I'm gonna reassemble the Keurig. And here I'm gonna wash the water reservoir with a little hot soapy water as well.
And here I'm gonna add two cups of white vinegar into the water reservoir. And I'm doing this because I'm gonna run this vinegar water solution through the Keurig to descale. Or you can just purchase some solution from online. Amazon carries it. gonna flush this Keurig out about three or four times with a water vinegar solution and then I'm gonna rush then I'm gonna flush it two more times with just fresh water Look at that, even though I deep cleaned it, you still see some of that. I still have a little bit of grounds down there in that water. And after that, it is deep cleaned and descaled and ready for my next latte. And now it's time to wash the dishes. Um, I got my cast iron skillet. I don't normally put soap in my cast iron skillet once it's been seasoned, but this particular time I needed to. I had some baked on things that I had to uh, kind of get off of there. Um, so I used a little soap and water and I'll re-season it once it's done. And the rest of the items in the sink, I will add into the dishwasher and then clean the sink. Hey guys, let's connect on social media, on Instagram and Pinterest at Creative Glam One. I'm gonna leave additional photos to this video over there. Stop by and check me out and make sure you follow. The dishwasher already had some items in there, so I'm gonna add these last few items and then I'll start it. I don't know about you guys, but I don't always start my dishwasher when I only have a partial load. I try to make sure I have a decent amount of dirty dishes in there before I give it a start. What about you guys? Do you start your dishwasher when you only have a partial load? Leave me a comment. I moved the furniture out of the way because I wanted to get under the furniture and do a little vacuuming under there as well. Which is not an easy job to do because uh, my sofa is a sectional and it's huge. I have to get the hubby to help me move the furniture so that I can do vacuuming underneath those furniture pieces.
And now it's time to steam mop. I love my shark steam mop. Um, look at that mop surface. That is horrible. It's embarrassing, but I love the way it cleans. It gets that floor sparkling clean, no soap, steam and water. I love it. Okay, so I'm back from Costco's. combination grocery haul I went to Giants and I went to Costco's I got some um, Miss Myers pine multi-surface cleaner I picked up some more dishwasher pods I picked up some chunky blue cheese um, dipping sauce well dressing and dipping sauce my family goes through that pretty fast yeah, so I picked up two. I was going to say I thought I had more than one. And I also picked up some more chocolate filled croissants. I love those things with my lattes. With coffee in the morning, they're perfect. Just It reminds me of Starbucks. I guess I was missing Starbucks in my chocolate filled croissants in a latte. I picked up some braised short ribs. Those short ribs are excellent. They are so tender and they taste so good. You can even switch out the barbecue sauces. Sometimes I'll use the one that comes in the package or sometimes or, or sometimes we'll use my husband's barbecue sauce. He creates his own. And I picked up some Wagyu ground beef. I love that ground beef. Non-GMO, some Wagyu, some organic ground beef. And then I pick up the large eggs. Then I picked up a couple bottles of soda. I also picked up some baby spinach. I love those with my uh, with my power bowls. I picked up some more tropical uh, cran tropical juice. That's for me. And I picked up some avocados, some onions, and some scallions. I also picked up uh, some I call it e water, Estancia water. Oh, and I also got some ginger and tomatoes. So I have some onions, avocados, ginger, tomatoes, and scallions. This is just a week's worth of items that were on my grocery list that I ran over and picked up, as I said, from Giants and Costco. Like a refill list. I don't have to work that line. That's why I wake up and it's a really nice day living in the rice. And that's it, guys. Now I'm gonna put the groceries in the refrigerator in the pantry. And I also picked up a bag of candy. I usually try and keep my candy dish in my kitchen filled for anyone who's passing through and would like something kind of sweet. And when I'm done with all that, I light my candle, which signifies that my home is clean, my grocery shopping is done, and the groceries have been put away. Now I get to chill for a minute. That signifies that I've got everything done. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today. And I'm hoping that this video gave you tons of inspiration and motivation to get things done around your home. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell. I'd also appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up. So hit that like button too. At the end of this video, you'll see two video links. Click one to see more home decor and DIYs by Creative Glam. And leave me a flower in your comment to let me know that you enjoyed this type of content and you made it all the way to the end. And with that being said, have a blessed day and I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye.